actually NASA is supposed to release a high-resolution image of this object when it came very close to Mars on uh, October 3rd. NASA's silence surrounding the interstellar object 3I Atlas has finally come to an end. After weeks of mounting speculation, the agency has announced that it will release its long-awaited images of the object during a live broadcast scheduled for November 19th at noon Pacific time. The live stream page is already active, signaling that NASA intends to reveal not only high-rise imagery, but additional data collected during the period when public updates abruptly paused. The timing of the event has not gone unnoticed. The release coincides with a rare planetary alignment, often associated with communication disturbances, an irony that has fueled even more interest as viewers prepare for a moment that could reshape the public understanding of 3i Atlas. NASA has disabled its chat for the broadcast, a decision that adds a layer of formality to the announcement and suggests that the information they plan to share is significant. At the same time, another major development is unfolding in the background. A new coronal mass ejection launched from a highly active sunspot region that recently triggered strong geomagnetic activity on Earth is now on a trajectory that intersects the position of 3I Atlas. According to current space weather models, the CME is expected to sweep across the object around November 22nd, striking the region of space slightly above the ecliptic plane, precisely where the object resides. While the CME is not one of the most powerful of the season, its directional alignment appears almost deliberate, giving scientists and amateur observers alike a rare opportunity to witness how an interstellar comet-like body responds to a direct surge of solar plasma. This incoming CME arrives at a crucial moment, because 3I Atlas is more active now than at any previous point in its observation history. Weeks ago, when its position was nearly aligned behind the Sun from Earth's perspective, the object appeared quiet and muted. Its coma was faint, its jets indistinct, and its tail, if it existed then, was nearly impossible to detect due to the unfavorable viewing geometry. But since passing its closest point to the Sun, 3I Atlas has undergone a dramatic transformation. It now displays a large, diffuse coma, distinct jets in multiple directions, and a fully visible tail that stretches into space like a luminous thread. This change makes the impending CME encounter especially compelling, raising the possibility of tail disconnection events or sudden surges in brightness, phenomena that solar physicists have documented in past comet interactions, but have never before seen in an interstellar object. The scientific community has been working to interpret this behavior within established physics, and the explanations span a wide range. Some researchers have pointed out that interactions between dust, gas, and solar radiation often produce complex structures in a comet's coma, structures that can appear ordered even when driven by chaotic forces. Others have highlighted the role of plasma physics. Once material escapes the nucleus, sunlight ionizes it almost immediately, creating electric fields, magnetic structures, and charge gradients that guide the motion of the particles. These processes can produce coherent jets or channels that remain sharply defined even when the nucleus is rotating slowly, as early analyses suggest 3I Atlas is, approximately once every 16 hours. The idea is counterintuitive, but well supported by past observations. A small nucleus embedded inside a massive, electrically active coma can produce orderly structures that do not smear or diffuse despite rotational motion. Yet the object's most fundamental property, its size, remains unknown. Early measurements from the Hubble Space Telescope suggested a nucleus potentially up to 2.8 kilometers wide. Other independent estimates, using different assumptions about reflectivity and density, have produced values that differ by more than an order of magnitude. Without a precise nucleus diameter, it is nearly impossible to determine the object's mass, its material composition, or the true scale of its outgassing. These parameters are essential for understanding the non-gravitational forces acting on 3I Atlas, especially given the unusual acceleration patterns observed earlier in the year. NASA's high-resolution images captured on October 3rd may finally offer the clarity needed to establish a baseline. If the nucleus is small, the current activity levels might reflect a highly volatile composition. 
If it is much larger, the faint early behavior may point to material or structural characteristics unfamiliar to typical solar system comets. As anticipation builds, amateur astronomers around the world have been contributing valuable observations. Long exposure, stacked imaging has revealed details that single frames fail to capture. The jets, the tail, the subtle gradients of the coma all require stacking multiple images to increase the signal-to-noise ratio. Without stacking, the object appears as a dim, blurred point, which has led to confusion among casual viewers and even accusations that the tail does not exist. But in properly processed images, the structure becomes unmistakable. The difference between a single frame and a stacked exposure is the difference between an indistinct dot and a fully formed, active interstellar visitor. These techniques, long used in astrophotography, are now essential for monitoring 3i Atlas as it moves into progressively better viewing conditions. The trajectory of the object remains consistent with long-term projections, despite earlier online speculation that it might deviate in unexpected ways. There has been no sudden change indicating an approach toward Earth, no dramatic acceleration event, no course alteration inconsistent with known forces. Its closest approach to Earth will occur on December 19th, not at a distance that poses risk, but at a geometry that will allow observers to view the object more clearly and at a more favorable angle. During that time, the tail, which once hid directly behind the nucleus from Earth's viewpoint, will be angled more laterally, making it far easier to detect and study. The magnetic structure of the object is another topic of interest, especially in the context of the incoming CME. Studies of comets within the solar system have shown that their magnetic fields, produced not by internal dynamos but by interactions between ionized gas and the solar wind, can fluctuate dramatically when struck by a CME. These interactions can reshape the coma, constrict or expand the ion tail, and even cause temporary disconnection events where the tail detaches completely before reforming. In some instances, the sudden surge of charged particles creates a compression wave that sweeps across the coma, reorganizing the flow of dust and plasma in a matter of hours. The resulting structural changes can be so dramatic that even small, weakly active comets briefly exhibit features normally associated with much larger bodies. If something similar unfolds around 3i Atlas, it would mark the first time such behavior has ever been observed in an interstellar object. The event would offer a rare opportunity to map how material from another star system reacts under the extreme conditions of our Sun, an experiment nature almost never provides and one scientists are preparing to analyze in detail. This is why NASA's announcement is so significant. The agency has labeled 3i Atlas a comment outright, an assertion that contrasts with the more cautious terminology adopted by some independent analysts who prefer the designation interstellar object until the nucleus and composition are definitively understood. The imagery that NASA is preparing to release may establish a clearer identity for the object and determine whether its structure and activity patterns align with known comet behavior or diverge in ways that point to a different origin or composition. The live stream will air across NASA's platforms, including their website, app, YouTube channel, and Amazon Prime, and will allow the public to submit questions using the Ask NASA tag. While the agency's chat will remain disabled, the global scientific community will be watching closely, ready to analyze the newly released data frame by frame. Meanwhile, the CME continues to advance. If it strikes 3i Atlas head-on, the response could be immediate and dramatic, with observable changes in the coma, jets, and tail unfolding over hours or days. If it glances off or disperses, the encounter may be more subtle. Either way, the event marks a rare convergence, an interstellar object entering a highly active solar environment at a moment when Earth-based observers are positioned to watch every development. As the date approaches, the anticipation blends caution with curiosity. For scientists, 3i Atlas represents an opportunity to test models of plasma behavior, comet physics, and interstellar composition under extreme conditions. For astronomers, it is a rare visitor whose behavior cannot be predicted using familiar rules. For the public, it is a window into the dynamic and often turbulent environment of the inner solar system, an environment where dust, gas, magnetic fields, and solar storms interact in ways that reshape the objects moving through it. In the days ahead, two key moments will define the narrative. The release of NASA's high-resolution images on November 19th and the potential CME impact expected around November 22nd. 
Together, they mark the most consequential period in the observation of 3i Atlas since its discovery. The story is far from over, and the next chapter, driven by sunlight, plasma, and long-awaited data, is already on its way through the space between stars.